In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to play a broken walking bass line. So with that in mind, grab your bass and let's get started. Okay, so when learning to play accompanying jazz bass lines, many people are led to believe that playing four quarter notes per bar is your only option. And there's a reason for this because many people who want to play jazz end up buying a book on how to play jazz. Here's a common scenario that I get all the time. Someone comes to me for lessons saying they just did a Sunday lunchtime jazz gig at the weekend and because they never really played jazz before, they became a bit unstuck on the gig. So as a result, they come to me for lessons and they want to know how to play a walking bass line. I always start off by asking them this simple question. As far as jazz goes, what are you currently listening to? And the answer is almost always the same thing where they say, nothing really, but I just bought this great book about walking bass lines that I'm trying to work my way through. This is where the disconnect comes in because if you aren't listening to the music that you wanna play, then it's gonna be really tough to understand how it should sound in the end. Oh, the book might help as an addendum, but if you aren't going to the source first, which is the music itself, then you're always gonna end up being handicapped, especially when it comes to playing jazz. There's three main fields when playing an accompanying jazz bass line, which revolve around playing time in four, which means playing four quarter notes per bar. The next one is playing time in two, which is basically two half notes per bar. And then the one that's least understood is called broken time, where we're breaking up the rhythm of the actual line. I got the idea for this lesson after watching a bass player from LA called Chelsea Stevens playing an accompanying jazz line on a Yannick Guazdilla video. They played a jazz tune called What Is This Thing Called Love and she did a terrific job mixing up these different fields together. I'm going to link that video at the end of this lesson so be sure to watch that. So what I'm going to do today is take that same tune and show you how to play broken time using just a couple of different concepts so check this out. Understanding how to play broken time is all about the rhythmic phrasing, so that's what I'll be focusing on for this lesson. Examining what I'm playing in the first eight bars, notice that every other bar is punctuated with playing time in four. In bars one, three, five, and seven, I'm playing an eighth rest dotted quarter note followed by two quarter notes. In bar eight, the line becomes a little busier rhythmically. What I want you to notice is how this creates a broken effect within the line itself. In the second eight bars, I'm superimposing a three against four polyrhythm by playing dotted quarter notes. Notice that after playing this for three bars, the whole thing starts over again on the downbeat. So the phrasing over the whole eight bar section is two three bar phrases followed by one two bar phrase. There's a cool anticipation effect into each successive chord change that happens as a result. hits the bridge, I shift into playing time in four. Notice how I'm not always using the root note as my first note. In fact, in bar three, I don't even play the root at all. In the 
last eight bars, I'm going back to that phrase consisting of eighth rest, dotted quarter note, followed by two quarter notes. This happens in the first four bars, and then I mix in two bars of playing time in four. In the last two bars, I'm using dotted quarter notes that are displaced by starting on the end of beat one. As previously stated, it's super important to become an avid listener to any style that you're curious about. Bass players to check out who pioneered this style of broken walking bass lines are Scott LaFaro, Gary Peacock, and Eddie Gomez. All of these guys played with the jazz pianist Bill Evans, so be sure to check that out. As always, if you aren't subscribed to my channel yet, then make sure to do that now, and in return you'll get early notifications for all my lessons. I've also linked that video that I mentioned earlier where Chelsea Stevens is jamming with Yannick Guzdala. So until next time, practice smart, work hard, and play creatively.